YouTube is telling me something. Look, right now I have more views in Canada than I do in my own country. Here I am down here in the uh, dangly bit. C. A. N. A. D. A. Of course I bought the 10 pack. Go big or go home. This could be the result of me growing up watching things like you can't do that on television and Strange Brew and my favorite kids in the hall. Oh my God, Seth. Seth Rogen is Canadian. My undying love for him is starting to make sense now. Stop. I've only been to Canada once, and after spending a lot of time in New York City, my mind was blown at how absolutely pristine the subways in Toronto were. Stop. 75% of Canadians live within 100 miles of the U.S. border. It's kind of like you guys are sitting on top of the U.S. like a cozy kick-ass hat. Hopefully you like us and aren't really going, God, you're just a bunch of loudmouths with bad ideas. Speaking of bad ideas, I've got one for that uninhabited part of the country you've got. Four words. Picture it with me now. Polar bear snowmobile polo. I'll have my people call your people. Full disclosure, my people may consist of a single cat with gnarly lizard breath, but he makes all my financial decisions for me, which seems to be going mostly well. Mostly. Canada is the largest producer of maple syrup. That deciduous love slime, that nectar of the gods is a product that I've been obsessed with since it was fed to me in my baby bottle. Dude, all of your food is on point, Canadians. Poutine, are you kidding me? It's heaven. And as far as fry toppings go, I'm convinced that the more it looks like hot garbage vomit, the tastier it'll be. Apparently you guys have this thing called beaver tails, which by my best estimation is a small oblong donut pizza that you can put candy on. Will you marry me, Canada? And you have ketchup flavored Lay's. What else are you hiding? Are you hiding pizza flavored beer? Are you hiding cold fusion? Not cool, man. Now the milk and bags thing I'm a little unclear on. I mean, I think I understand the whole eco-friendly aspect of it, but I keep picturing drinking it like a giant milky sun. You need a big ass straw for that. What'd you get? Tim Hortons. That's right, I almost forgot you guys have Tim Hortons. Hey, I'll trade you one Dunkin' Donuts for one Tim Hortons. No, thank you. Polite bunch you are. You're an entire country with a reputation for being polite. That's amazing. I don't even know how that works. Wait, I totally know how that works. You save your bone crushing rowdiness for hockey. Your national sport is like your anger therapy. Oh, shit. Well, Canada, for being so cool, I'm gonna send you some gifts from Florida. Hot surfers, a lifetime supply of flip flops, discounted Disney World tickets, Caribbean beer, never having to use the heat in your car, inability to breathe at high altitudes, six months of New York drivers, hurricanes, Tiger Woods. These are getting progressively shittier. Speaking of shittier, the only Canadian thing that I'm not too big a fan of are your geese. Well, not the geese themselves, they're cool. It's, uh, you know, what comes out of them. Never a more avid crapper has the animal kingdom produced. I never had clean sneakers growing up because of it. But hey, what's a little goose poop between friends? I mean, if that is the only negative thing a person can think of about your country, it could always be worse. Hit the like button to support improved moose eagle relations. Next week I will be unveiling my epically idiotic homemade Halloween costume, which I might have to apologize in advance for. Hey, it makes me laugh. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in then. I'm gonna share it with slash inflict it upon as many people as I can. See ya!